hello everyone hope you are doing well uh, in this video i will show you how to create an invoice order and bill entry page how to automate the gst in your invoice and how to save this as a pdf using vba your output will be just like that so means you can send this file to anyone through the email so you have to watch this video from start till the end so before we proceed if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe now and then begin the learning first of all we have to define our field so in my case I need order number uh, description I need quantity I need rate then I will need a uh, total before GST then we will calculate the GST amount and then we need total after GST right uh, we can adjust the fields by this uh, this can be smaller this can be a bit smaller these three can be okay like that and then we can centralize them like this we can pull them we can increase the font and then we can just select the area that we are in need let's say this area is enough so i can apply a border here uh, for this field uh, i can expand uh, the height to make it more beautiful uh, we can increase the phone little bit we can again centralize it by the height and for the top area uh, we can merge everything like this or not like this just press ctrl z again just take the first two rows right and here you can enter the company name which is in my case excel doors limited i can centralize like that i can just make it bigger i can bold it you can apply a color theme here like this you can make it bigger further then you can merge the second line like this and you can add an address here so in my case www.exeltours.com and www.downloadexelfile.com okay so you can download this file from www.downloadexelfile.com and you can just make it bold or whichever is suitable yeah this one is good and you can also give it a color and then you can merge this third line like this and you can call it order details yeah order entry or you can make it blank it's solely up to you right you can just make it bigger make it centralized uh, you can just adjust your font accordingly and now I need to input my order right in order to input my order so I will say like that ED001 ED002 now we have to calculate this so we will simply apply a formula which is uh, equal sign rate and then we'll press star which is the multiplication sign in excel and then you will select this cell and press enter and you can simply drag it down copy and paste right like this then you will apply the gst uh, you can uh, predefine the gst rate so you don't need to change every time from the cal formulas so gst is let's say 18 percent right and i can name this field gst so i will just keep my cursor on this cell then i will go here on the left top and here i will say gst underscore rate like this then i will press equal then i will click on this cell then 
press the star sign and then say GST rate so it will automatically select that one and then you click it enter and then you just break it down so it applied the GST then you just press equal sign this plus this sorry this plus this and enter and then bring it down like that so if you change your GST in future let's say it's changed to 12% it will automatically change here so you don't have to go and change in formula every time so this is your final outcome so you can bold it moreover these are all numbers so you can just press a comma sign like that where needed so here uh, we don't need this double digit we can just remove like that uh, in radius we do need it and yes this is the final value right so now we can total it right we can simply total it so I would call it I will just select a cell like that means I just merge them and I can also merge the rate column as well so just merge like that and I call it total press bold just increase the size make it the right side right and then now you can sum it just equal sum sum select the range close the bracket enter and just copy and paste like that so now you have just calculated your invoice perfectly so now your bill is prepared you can also just make it a, a border you can bold it give it color to make it highlight right sorry like that you can just color it like that so you know okay so this is the GST value basically so when you press control P you can see this is going uh, into the next page like that so you have to adjust this page first before you create a macro to export this into a PDF right so just select this the last one no scaling and make it fit to one page when you click select fit to one page you can see the GST rate is also coming here like that so you have to define the print area so what you have to do you will select from the start heading till the last column and the last row after selecting this whole area you will go on the page layout you will click on print area and then you will click on set print area right so now this area will not be printed only this area that you have selected will be printed now go on control p again so now you can see only this page is being coming uh, in your print area and now when you will print it this this page will only be printed right so we can get rid of this extra grid lines which are coming you just go on view and click on grid lines so now this is a proper white sheet on which you have prepared your bill entry page right or a order entry page so they are all alternative names you can call it invoice you can call it uh, order and you can call it bill okay so invoice order and bill entry okay invoice order or bill entry so whichever uh, word that suits you you can use that now we have to export this page into the PDF right and I want it to be just a one click button when I click it it give me a pop-up where to save it you just select the destination and it saves accordingly first of all you will go on the file menu on the top and then click on the option this option will appear then you will have to click on customize ribbon and then you will check this developer tab if it is unchecked you have to check it right and then press ok so on the top you will see that a developer option will appear right now what you have to do you have to click on visual basic okay then you will right click on this Microsoft Excel object 
you will click on insert and the module and here you will paste this code right you can download uh, from the description and then you will close this window and click on the insert button you will click on the shapes and then you will select this rounded corner button and you can just draw like that right and you will right click and edit text you can say save PDF and you can just select and centralize it increase the font bold it and then you right click it again and then you will click on assign macro and here you will see the save PDF and then press OK so once you set the print ranges you set the macros you clear you create this button and assign the macro you have to when you will click this a window like this will appear and you can just call it uh, bill export or whatever name you want to give this will be saved as PDF right and your PDF is saved so here you can see uh, your PDF is safe here you just double click and you can see your bill is now in PDF format also make sure when you create this file and you press ctrl s to save it you have to you have to browse and here you will select this excel macro enable workbook because if you do not select this the excel will not retain your macros and that will be discarded so make sure you select this one right this is important so you have to select and you can just give your file name and save it according to your desired location so i hope you like this video if you like please share with others uh, if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe now and i'll see you in the next video and if you have any question do comment so i'll respond to you accordingly thank you so much and if you want to download this file you can download from the link given in description thank you and have a good day